What is good YouTube, it's Z17 back with another video and today we are in my team for another no money spent episode. Now I have not been playing much my team at all, but let's get into the packs. There's new NBA is back packs because of course the NBA is back today. It's probably been, I mean a day since this posted because I'm planning on posting it tomorrow. But let's get into it. We have a Jokic Pink Diamond, which will be better than my Amethyst. We have Miles Turner, Austin Reeves, Scotty Barnes, Darius Garland, and Anobi. I want that card. So is that six cards? Yeah, they only have six cards, but maybe they'll like drop more like NBA related ones. Hopefully moments cards come back. Those were the best cards in the game. Do they have anything to do with moments? No, not yet, unfortunately. NBA All-Star History. There's a Kuzma Diamond card. I do not remember these. Isaiah Ryder. Oh, I like that. I like that. They've made a change to the auction house. It now shows shoe boosts and takeover boosts such as that. I like that because now you know what you're purchasing and what card changes. I mean, what changes have been made to the cards. Inanobi's going for 180k. I've got 130. Let's see. Is anyone a buyout? No. So all the diamonds in the set are all not buyouts. Let's go into outcomes because you guys wouldn't know, but I have tried selling all my badges and I've sold every single one. Somehow, against all odds, we have sold every single badge that I had. I went through for like half an hour yesterday putting them up and they've all somehow sold. Never even happened in 2K20 when I was playing the game. I mean, I don't think badges were a thing back then. I don't enjoy badges. So I'm just selling them all. Plus they have value while cards don't have all these OP badges. So may as well sell them now, I reckon. Considering I'll probably forget about it in the future. Now let's see how much MT I end up with once I get all these. So 500, 650. It's going to be like... 10k I'd say at least I don't know if that's a good guess or not but you know for 500 or so per badge and then some selling for 2 or 3k like the best ones I'm gonna have 150k so that's more like 20k because I'm sure I started with 131 or something at the start of this video like two minutes ago I've already forgotten Okay, so we got 20k somehow from badges, and I still have more to sell, I'm sure. 29 badges. Can't sell the Hall of Fames, unfortunately, but something like Handles for Days would be really nice. Plus, it goes for 1k at least. No, it doesn't. 950. And what I tend to do, 850. What I tend to do, I'll show you guys right here. So I'm putting it on the auction house. I'm going to go auction house. I still get confused making my way around for menus. And then I go, let's say 750. I undercut it by like 100 because it's just a badge. It doesn't matter too much. And that is what causes it to sell, which is nice. But anyway, let's go into the squad. It's a new season. It's season two. I've met in here. As you guys can see, we'll get some videos in. This is a screenshot I've got. I have already got the diamond buddy healed. I got him with six picks left. I tried to screenshot me getting the grand prize, but you know, just didn't work out, unfortunately. I also got the Carl Anthony Towns, which is, I think, Pro Pass Reward, level one. Let's go into seasons anyway, and I will show you guys where I'm at. So I got the diamond towns, I know it's no money spent, but you know, I'm I'm using all this stuff for my career. So I don't know if I'm breaking the rules there or not. Technically I am, although I don't know. 
We'll keep it as no money spent for now because I'm not spending money on anything else, especially not level skips. I've got a Sapphire Jamal Murray evolution. I can't wait to get that up. Although you need 50 points. Don't know if I'm going to do that. So far, I've had 15 Ascension picks. And I've already got Buddy healed. Let's show the lineup what's looking like now. Probably like, well, pretty bad. Yes, it is. I haven't been playing this game mode. Reason being, just seems a bit dry right now. I will get into it more though, sure, Buddy Healed, I do like Buddy Healed cards, so might start playing my team now that I've got him on squad, he is good defense, he is 6-4 unfortunately, but Hall of Fame Limitless is life changing, I like that, I will definitely be using it on normal risk or whatever, rather than high risk for my team, because I don't know if jump shots, still have this pink diamond teammate, I have Sharif Abdurrahim now, who I really like on the squad. And I have Towns, of course, at centre. I think I love this card. He's a New York Nick. He's got Hall of Fame Limitless Posterizer. He's got everything I want on a card. Got Jalen Brunson off the bench, who is a default card. I said I'll do Domination, although I don't know. I think a Diamond Brunson will drop pretty soon, so I'll just wait for that card to like, show up, I guess. Stiff Curry, I could replace. I don't like Stiff's jump shot, though, so I feel like it would be a bit of downgrade if I'm not good with his jump shot. I'll put him in there because he has a higher free ball, of course, and the other reason being that um, with normal risk, a lot of those shots might go in. I have this Ruby Christian Brown, who I just got from Season Rewards. He's got an 86 free. He's got a dunk. His defense is nice, although defense is a bit cooked this year, contest-wise. Challenger, I like that on gold. I find Denier one of my favorite badges this year, definitely. And then I've got the Jamal Murray, who just... His stats are pretty average until you evolve him, but I will evolve him. Let's see. The evolution. What he needs is speed, and he does get it. Doesn't go up crazy, though. But, I mean, I guess it's a good card. He'll, he'll stay in my squad for little until I start spending my MT. I'm saving it until better cards come out. Because I don't play this mode much, and I'll probably forget to sell them. Jalen Brown, he's in the lineup. He was an evolution card last season. I only found out like a week ago. But at least we've got him. Let me check that Ananobi before I, before I end the video. So Ananobi, 200k. What does he have? Free ball, dunk. He can dribble. His defense is insane. That is why. His jump shot must be good. Hall of Fame challenger posterizer. He doesn't have limitless, but my god, I want that card. I will get it eventually, I'm sure. But that is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.